And so this is also in public domain. And this is just information that is, has been made available. Uh, in total, you have about 5,000, a little over 5,000 global talents that has been endorsed over a 10-year period. About 600 to 700 of those are from my home country, Nigeria, right? Um, and, and those are the numbers. In terms of the numbers as well, we have about one in four being founders. And so it is not true to say if I'm not a founder of a tech-enabled digital technology, I will not qualify for the Tech Nation visa. That has never been true. But these statistics helps you to see that clearly. You don't absolutely have to be a founder for you to qualify um, in, in this particular visa opportunity. It helps. If I'm being honest, it does help because it's easier for you to show as a founder to say the growth of this organization, the growth of this innovation, the traction that this innovation has is because of my skill and my ability and my presence in that organization. And this is part of what you must show if you are applying for this particular visa. When you put together your application, don't put together your application to say we did xyz we were able to become the best in the world and all of that that we as a question mark automatically the question mark is that what part of it did you do and what part of it did other people that were part of your team do you need to be able to single out your own work in this application that you are putting together a lot of times people don't like blowing their own trumpets but in this case in this particular visa you need to you need to show that, oh, if I was not in this organization, this particular growth would not have happened. And those are the kinds of things that you need to be able to show and say. But you can't just say it without having proof. You need to also show documentary evidence of those things that you are saying. To say that, oh, I was able to help this startup, this product-led digital technology, I was able to help it gain this level of traction. But you must show documentary evidence of what you are talking about. It has also never been true that you could only qualify for this visa if you were a software developer. This is something that people have said in the past as well, to say you needed to show that you are a software engineer. Yes, one out of three people that have qualified for this visa opportunity have been software engineers. But there are several other people that have qualified that were not software engineers. They've qualified under different skills, all of them in the field of digital technology. Some of these skills are technical skills, like software engineering, like DevOps. But then some of these skills are business skills, like product management, project management, digital marketing, called performance marketing as well, and several other business skills. So every time we are seeing tech, we are just saying technology. We are not saying the technical side of technology. So this is important because there's the business side of tech and there's the technical side of tech. You don't have to absolutely qualify on the technical side of tech. If you are stronger in the business side of tech and that's what you are and that's how you've actually achieved your stat status as being globally attractive, then that's what you should project to the world. And that's what you should project to your assessor when you submit your Tech Nation visa application. Um, in terms of education as well, it is not true that you need to have completed a bachelor's degree. Yes, 95% have, but it's not a criteria to say you must have a bachelor's degree for you to apply, nor for you to be endorsed for this visa, for this visa itself. 